Okay, so I'm at the corner of 68th Avenue and 132nd Street in Newton. This is a walk I do a lot of the time, usually with children. Last time I was here was Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. This is now Thursday morning. And I just thought I'd come by and take a look at the stuff that has been here since then. That no one has reported, that no one has picked up. This field here tends to be very littered and overgrown. If you take a look behind the bus stop here, everyone always throws all their garbage back here. You always get people smoking marijuana and cigarettes, flicking them everywhere. This is nice. So People really care, you can tell. This graffiti has been here for weeks. I don't know how often TransLink checks their properties, but it has been weeks. And you can see how much people care. Oh, more graffiti. I don't know how long that's been here. I usually don't come down this side. I'm usually doing this walk with kids. Today I am child free, so that's another reason I'm recording today. But a lot of the times, of course, you get little children who want to pick stuff up, who say, what's this, what's that? And you don't always want to explain to them what it is they're seeing or why it is. Ah, this has been here for two days now. Condom wrapper, summer lovin'. So when a child says, oh, I can read that word, can I read it to you? You tend to yank them by the arm and say, no, let's talk about something else. So we've walked on a little further. We're at 68A and 132. There's a boulevard there, and we have another overgrown area that is always full of junk. The house here is 6848 132nd. Now, I don't know if this is their property officially or not, but city bylaws say that you are responsible for the sidewalk, the boulevard, um, anything that any city property that immediately surrounds your property, you are responsible for maintaining, cleaning, removing refuse. We're now at 69A and 132. And, hey, anyone need a couch? It's been here at least since Tuesday afternoon. Last I was by here, I had no pen, no paper, no nothing, so I wasn't able to report it. City of Surrey, I'm reporting it now. It will be mentioned in my tweet. So I'm not sure which is worse, the fact that someone thinks a nice forest like this is a good place that needs a couch, or that nobody has reported it to the city of Surrey, or if they have, that the city of Surrey hasn't done anything about it. So, I don't know, I'm thinking it's kind of a fail on all counts here. Okay, this is another favorite spot of mine. This is probably officially Surrey Parkland. We're still on 132. It's not too bad today because there's been a rain, but this is usually quite nasty, partially because we have a bus stop here. We're just a little further along, so we've now got 69A behind us. But now we have a bus stop, which in BC tends to translate as my own personal dumping ground. So we've got Slurpees and fast food wrappers. Don't know what that is out there. I'm not going to go take a look. We have oh, all kinds of nice debris. People having a smoke, having a candy bar, more trash there, newspaper. You know, the sad thing is, it's not bad today. There are no tampons here today. So, you know, the whole biohazard risk has severely decreased, and, you know, that's always a good thing. But this is one thing you see a lot at bus stops, which is why I would never want to live near a bus stop. As convenient as it may be, the general populace seems to think bus stop equals open-air garbage can. 
So this is usually very overgrown, but it looks like someone's been at it lately. So good for you, city parks. Although that area back there is kind of disturbing. There's a definite lack here today. Well, we do have lots of junk food on the ground, lots of junk wrappers. So, so we have pizza boxes. This is the boulevard a little further along. I've been having some technical difficulties, so I don't know how much you got of what went by. But I was saying this is not just the city of Surrey. This is the fact that people are wandering around, throwing trash out, deciding it's city of Surrey's job to pick up their dirty clothes, their junk food, their pizza boxes, their underwear. I've seen it all. And that's usually the fun part of this walk.